What is up guys, it's the Graffiti Corner, back with another tutorial. Um, in this tutorial it's going to be about uh, how to be quiet when you're out doing graffiti and stuff like that. And the reason I'm making this tutorial is because I haven't seen a lot on YouTube, at least not a lot of good ones. So I'm just going to give you guys a few tips, um, because I don't want to make the video, I could go on for like 15 minutes, but I'll give a few tips of how to go quick and how to be quiet. First thing, you guys need one of these, okay? Um, not the color, I mean obviously black's pretty a necessity in my opinion, but um, a small can. Um, I have an iron lag tip on this, it's basically made for outlines, uh, so it's a lot like more precise compared to like a fat cap. Um, these, I you can just get, um, your local Home Depot should have them. Um, I, this particular one I got at uh, Michael's. So, um, small can. Uh, reason is, if you're wearing a hoodie, which if you're not, you probably should, <laughs> because people can see you. Um, obviously the first tip and most common sense tip is don't be stupid. You know, if you know people are out, if you know there's like a street light there, just don't be stupid, because it's so easy to get caught and people just don't do it right. So, A, you can put this right in your hoodie pocket, if, like if I had one I'd demonstrate, and it's completely hidden. And so yeah, that's that. Um, shaking your can. This is the most common mistake I see, which blows my mind because a lot of people do this. So when you're out doing graffiti, obviously this is kind of loud. And for those of people who don't nearly understand the exact reason why you have to uh, shake a can, it's because the paints in the can, it gets... Um, I guess chunky would be the word. It gets like really um, globbed together and the thing in there that's shaking, it's like a little ball and basically it just makes it so it mixes up the paint so you could start spraying and it won't come out very thick. So I'm just going to show you guys the difference here. No matter how you shake it, it's still going to break up the paint somehow. And the ball is not always perfectly in center. It literally like bounces off the walls in the can. It's not like it's just straight vertical when you shake it. So. I want you guys to listen to the difference between these two. That's vertical. That's a, a side to side. Um, th that's unbelievable how people don't really like. I, I guess people think that shaking it vertical is the only way to do it, but no. Like when I do it, just side to side and it mixes up. The only reason you have to do this is because it mixes up the paint for a better consistency. So that's that. Um, as far as being quiet goes, it's not necessarily you, because if your goal is to be quiet, you'll obviously be quiet. What you do have to watch out for is, if you're going with people, I say keep it to a minimum, like literally one person, if you're going to go with anyone, and make sure the person you're going with is naturally quiet. Um, like, just... Don't be with people that'll screw around because there's a lot of people out there that will and they, they'll get you caught and trust me you don't want to get caught it's not fun so be as quiet as you can that's the main thing um, as far as like shoes go I don't want to get too like specific about it because being quiet is quiet but just wear like shoes you could run in don't wear like skate shoes if you have like I don't know Nike free runs if you know what I mean like the rare, rare shoes you could like run in. Just be smart about it. It's all common sense that people don't think about. Know when to go. You know, if it's the difference between. I mean, you don't want to go at 4 a.m. And people would always tell me, you know, why isn't 4 a.m. such a good time? And believe it or not, there's people who go to work at 4 a.m. Like, they wake up and go to work. You'll see more traffic at 4 a.m. than probably like 8 a.m., to be honest. Best time, in my opinion, 1.30 to 2 because it's on weekdays 1 30 to 2 because people who are, who are like partying and stuff like that usually come home really really late uh, so like 3 and 4 so that those later times are actually worse than like midnight to 2 a.m. in my opinion at least that's from where I live I live in a city so it could be totally different in a rural area you could probably like walk out during the daytime well not that literally but you know what I mean so um let me just try to think if I could think of anything else pretty sure that's it. Um, wear dark clothes. That's a given though. I really just 
yeah, just think. Like, don't be stupid about it. That's my like. That's my real advice because people just don't think. Um, if you know your area where you are too, like you gotta know um, where people come from. Like, know where your police station is. Like, so if they get did get called, you know where to run. You know, you don't want to run towards the police station. And the only reason you would do that is a, you're stupid, or b you don't know the area. So know your area, know where to run, know what road they would come down, you know, stuff like that. But that's worst case scenario. Um, don't, <laughs> this sounds stupid, but it happened to me before. Never do like a bird call, okay? Never do that, okay? That's like the biggest no-no. If you need to get your someone who's with you attention, literally quietly walk up to them and just don't scare them, but tap them on the shoulder because you can't like bird call someone that's literally how ridiculous it gets like that's why I say go alone because only you know how to be quiet and some people just who are very inexperienced will walk under street lights and they don't know what they're doing um so keep it to a minimum be quiet wear dark clothes get one of these bad boys uh shake sideways and just be quiet about it so that's graffiti corner I'm out peace